Welcome guys to another Blackfire Productions World War Marvel. Today I'm here with Greg Hi. and you know who I am, Adam. Uh, we are going to bring you today a 40 level match of Control the Energy Pillars. Yes, I had to look down at what we were playing because I actually had a brain fart there for a second. Um, so yeah, 40 levels, control the energy pillars, one of the three scenarios from the main book. Um, I haven't played it in a while, and the last battle report that I did was a D88 battle report. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd go back to the core book for this one. Uh, today I'm going to be play playing X-Men-ish with some help, maybe from a neutral... Mutant. Well, it's still X Men, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, he he has joined the X Men. I, and my original idea for this list uh, was actually going to be a base of the X Men team from the Avengers versus X Men series, uh, with like Emma Frost, Cyclops, Colossus, Magneto, and so forth. But then, because we're playing forty levels and time limits and whatnot, I didn't quite have the time or the points to do it. I didn't have one point over 40, so I'm like, meh, I'll just go with what I have. Um, and you're playing what? The Avengers. Uh, yeah. Come the, on. Uh, it's, the, it's, the, it's the the team to beat. It is the team to beat, uh, I guess. They they are quite good. Quite good. Wow. Um, they are the Avengers, I guess, So and they are the bread and butter for Marvel. <laughs> That's so, true. And we want them to keep going. Well, we want everybody to keep going, X-Men included. We just want everything to yes, grow, everything especially for this game. Yes. This game. Um, so we got the board set. We've already decided, like I said, what we were playing. Uh, so I'll show you the teams, and I'll show you the board, and we'll get right into the game after that. So this here is my 40 levels of mutants. Uh, it is based off the X-Men, obviously, uh, because they are really the only, well, I can't say really the only mutants. There's more mutants in them. But, uh, so I have Colossus off to the far left-hand side of the screen, Nightcrawler hiding in there, Magneto, Cyclops, and Jean Grey herself. Though, So that is my 40 points, or levels, sorry, of mutants. And Greg, why don't you walk us through what you have? All right, starting from the left, we have uh, Iron Man. Yeah. We got Deadpool in the back. Yep. Mighty Thor, Ooh. Captain America, and then the new guy, Thing. Ooh, Thing. I haven't actually played Thing yet, so this will be interesting. I have played against everybody else on the board that you have, but not Thing. So we'll come back. I'll show you the board next. So guys, this is the board that we are playing with. Again, I'm going to be using one of the, well, I am using the Urban District Mat by Urban Mats. Uh, it's high quality 6x4. Uh, I think it's Neo Pyrene basically mouse pad material with a very good quality print on there. Um, you can see that I have the gas station, some little barriers there, the trees, my, my dumpster, some sentinel wreckage there. Of course, my buildings and, and everything else. Uh, more barricades. You'll see that these dice here, these are actually going to be our energy pillar. And there's a third one behind that tree there. Um, and how we're gonna show who controls them is we have an X-Men or an Avenger token. So we'll set the token beside the die and the die will go up to show you how many rounds you have. So if Greg wants to throw one of those tokens down, so that's an Avenger one. So then we just count up the rounds like that. And so you control it for one round and then say, they take control, you just move the one token away, and that's the X-Men one. And it's nice simple easy. enough, right? So, this is the rest of the board. And I'm going to show off the new piece of terrain right there. It is the Blackfire Productions billboard. So, uh, that is the board. We'll come back with deployment next. And I believe it is Greg that will be setting that up his be. first model. Greg has decided to place thing first, and he is being placed right in the center of the board there. My first deployment for this game is going to be Cyclops, and I place him right there beside the barricade, and straight up that kill zone there. Second deployment for Greg is going to be Iron Man, placed right beside the basketball court and thing. My second deployment is going to be Nightcrawler, setting up right beside Cyclops right there. Thor's going to be setting up right beside thing. That's a very intimidating line right there. <laughs> Iron Man, Thing, and Thor. Bull. And Jean Grey is set up right in front of Nightcrawler and beside Cyclops right there. We'll come back with Greg's fourth member next. And Captain America set up right in there. Gonna be uh, bodyguarding, I suspect. <laughs> Two can play at that game. I got a bodyguard as well with Colossus setting up right beside everybody else. And lastly but not least, we have Deadpool set up right beside Iron Man right there for Greg's side. I'll come back with my last deployment next. 
And my last deployment is Magneto, and he is set up off to the left-hand side of the X-Men. So we will come back with first round initiative phase next. Actually, just before we get into the initiative phase, I completely forgot to mention about the victory points and stuff like that for the game. Uh, so there are a total of seven victory points that you can accumulate throughout this game. Uh, you get one for being the first player to align three pillars to their team simultaneously. Victory condition is checked only at the end of the round. Uh, next, you have one victory point for the player who has the most pillars aligned to their side when the game ends. Then lastly, you get one victory point for each pillar controlled by the same player for three consecutive rounds. This victory condition is checked at the end of the round as well. So we'll come back next for, with round one initiative. Round one initiative draw. Greg's gone already, so he's the white die and I'm the blue dice. And how about I actually show you what I draw? And it's a white one. Would you like to go first or second? I. You're going to go first? Going to let you go first. I get to go first. There we go. And uh, for my first activation, I'm going to use a pass with Strategist by Magneto. Greg, you're going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's going to be activating, not the tape measure, Iron Man first, and he's going to be using some points of power to fly. Yeah, he's going to spend three to move up to here. Oh, and base Touching contact. Awesome. He's then going to spend two to align that pillar with the Avengers, and it is all. And he's going to store round. his last two. He's going to use two, or save his last two then to end his activation. Magneto's going to be my first activation this round. He's going to use three to fly all the way over here, around this corner within six inches of Iron Man. He's then gonna do a overloaded blunt instrument on Iron Man and hopefully hits with the grab. So that is definitely a hit because Iron Man did overload, or sorry, improve his physical defense, mm -hmm. um, but that is still a hit nonetheless. That That's is. 16 plus his attack of seven. So he is grabbed and then I'm going to chuck him back into that police car right there no. oh. just go towards the tail end of the police car though further away the better <laughs> and he is knocked down and does take three damage mm -hmm. magneto's then gonna camp on two power Thor's is gonna be activating next for greg and he's gonna be using three power to move up probably within range of that yep token down there he's then gonna activate that token there for two and leaves him with three power on him Colossus is going to be my next activation. He's going to be moving up and going right there. And then camping on five power. Thing's going to be Greg's next activation. Okay, so he's going to move up. Yeah. Using two power to move up. Yep. Full seven is, does he move? Yep, or seven? that's seven for him. Seven inches. Any his movement right there. And like everybody else, he's going to be camping on his six power right there. Cyclops is going to be my next activation. He's going to be coming over here. Within two inches of... Colossus, but yet still four inches within of Nightcrawler, so he gets his leadership bonus still. Uh, Coloss or Cyclops next is going to be targeting Thing with a optic beam. Uh, I'm not going to overload it, but he did improve his physical defense by two, so it goes up to 18. Yep. All right, so here's the first one. That's an 11 in total, so that's definitely a fail. Yes. I'm going to do it again. Doing it with Cyclops, that is. Are you going to be doing anything else? No. No? Okay. Trying it again. Hey, look. My dice are rolling hot today. Deja it's vu. another 11. Cyclops isn't doing well. And I'm going to use his last two to do the exact same thing. Because I can. Try and different dice. And hey. Oh my god. Even worse. There's a double one. So if this, game, <laughs> if this is sort of a prediction of how the game's going to be for me, dice-wise... I'm on the losing side already. Oh, I yeah. Like it. I like it. Oh, and by the way, Cyclops is now out of action. He's or out of power. He's just going to hang out there like a numpty. Is Captain's going to be Greg's next activation for this round. Oh. Agile. He's going to be moving up towards that objective holder there. Click. And using four power, yep, I'm four assuming. Yep, four power out of eight. And, and then two more. And yeah. And doing it with two. Yeah. Clicks that to the Avenger side. And so that is also an Avenger objective marker this round. Gene's going to be my next activation. She's going to move up here using three power and fly. She's next going to use a overloaded telekinesis 
on that barricade there. And guess who she's going to be targeting? Mm. Captain America, of course. <gasps> what? If that doesn't surprise you. Well, that's okay, because we're going to use shield block. <laughs> so, well, you might as well roll to see mm -hmm. if it goes off. Agility 9. Uh, and there's an 8 roll, so it definitely is stopped. For the last part of Jean's activation, she's going to be targeting a, or using Psychic Illusions, I believe is what it's called, uh, up against Captain America, who is going to overload his mental defense. So his mental defense is now a what? A 17. 17. So we need to roll 11 or higher on two dice. Hey, there's a 6, but the other one is a 1. So that is not a hit for Jean Grey. And Deadpool is going to be activating next for Greg. That is his last model for this round. He is body sliding. Body sliding. Look at that. An inch away from Magneto. And then he's going to spend one to move in. Okay. That's four. Yep. And then stab, stab. Okay. I'm going to overload my, <coughs> or improve my physical defense up to an 18. So he technically has a 19 defense against your stab, stab. Mm -hmm. Here's a roll. Attack of seven. Yep. And that's a... Five plus seven is 12. Not enough to get Magneto. Nope. Nightcrawler's gonna be my last activation for this round, so I'm gonna use two to bamf in there. He's gonna use two to switch that over to a X-Men energy pillar, and then I'm gonna use two to bamf back out over here. And end his round right there. Initiative phase, let's see what Greg draws out. It is a blue one. Uh, go ahead and you can have this round. Hey! What? what? You can have this round, go ahead. No. Okay. Greg's first activation this round is going to be Thor. Uh-oh. Uh, the mighty Thor uses three power and moves into base contact with both Colossus and Jean Grey. Thor's next part of his activation is going to be a overloaded four Midgard uh, on Colossus. Colossus is going to improve his um, physical defense. So we'll come back with the roll next. Here's the roll for the attack. And that is a 15 in total, which does not actually hit Colossus. No, it misses by one. Wow. Thank you, Colossus, with your high defense. And with that said, that is the end of Thor's activation. Instead of activating a model this turn, I'm going to use Strategist, and I'm going to pass. Deadpool over here is going to overload a Stab Stab on Magneto, who will be improving his physical defense by one. Well, using one to improve the mm -hmm. physical defense by two. Needing a 13 on this roll, and he does get it with a crit. So, he does take three. He's going to be doing the exact same thing again. And that is not anything yet. That's another crit. So, another three damage to Magneto. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to be activating uh, Jean. She's going to be using Telekinesis on this crate here, which is only size one, and I'm going to be targeting that at, or throwing that at Captain America there. And it is overloaded. And he will boost his defense. Okay. Right. Awesome. Putting him out of 19. Here's his roll, or her roll. And so that is a 15 plus her attack of 621, and he is hit and knocked over, taking one physical damage. Next part of her activation is going to be using Psychic Illusions on Captain America. Overloaded. You have no reactions to that, so that is a hit. So that is 13 plus her attack of 5, so she take, he takes 2 damage. And the last part of her activation this turn is going to be Motivate Mind on Cyclops, so he gets a plus 1 attack, and she will be camping on 1 power. Captain America is going to be Greg's next activation. And he uses 1 power there to remove the knockdown effect and stands up on his feet. Okay, spending 2 to move into base contact with Colossus there. Captain America is going to overload a grab attack and on Colossus. He needs 16 on three dice, I believe. And that is not enough with an 11. <laughs> so My next activation is going to be Magneto. He's going to be using three to fly all the way over here. He's next going to be using a overloaded blunt instrument up again, well, on that crate up against... Captain America. After moving there, Magneto is going to be using Meat Grinder up against Captain America, and he is going to overload it, uh, leaving him with one power left, and there's no reactions or anything no like reactions. that. So let's see if I actually hit. What's your physical defense? 17. 
17. Whoa. So I need a whole whopping 11 or higher on three dice. There you go. Definitely get it. And that is two damage to okay. Captain America. Uh, Magneto's, after Magneto's activation, he is sitting on one tower left. He is going to use a Master Tactician, so we need to roll 13 or less. And there's a 10, so it goes off. So my next activation is going to be Cyclops. Cyclops, he's going to be using a whole bunch of Optic Blasts up against Captain America. Cyclops with, has an 8 attack up against Captain America's mental defense of 15. I need to roll 8 or higher. I'm not overloading this, so I need 8 or higher on two dice. And that's a nine, so okay. Captain America takes two more damage. Okay. It's gonna do it again, up against Captain America. I'm needing eight or higher still, and that is a six. That is not enough. Uh, and the next part of the action, uh, last part of his action, sorry, Cyclops is gonna do an overloaded uh, optic beam up against Captain America. And so that is definitely a hit. So two more damage to Captain America. Next activation for Craig. Greg, sorry, I just said Craig, my bad. Dude. Uh, a lot of people do it, don't worry. It's going to be a thing, and he's going to be moving them up towards the combat. After moving there, Thing is going to use two more power. Two more power. To use hard times, which gives him, plus everybody within four inches, four inches on his team, a plus one physical defense. My next activation is going to be Colossus. Uh, he's only going to do one action this round. He's going to do a Crushing Smite up against Captain America. Um, he does have a 18 physical defense right now, uh, so I do need to, I am overloading it, so I do need to roll 12 on three dice. So here's the roll. I'm hoping for a critical. Not a critical, but it is definitely a hit. Uh, and he takes two more damage. Cyclops, or er, <laughs> Cyclops. Yes. Captain America is put into the red. He is uh, needing a stamina test. So let's see if he fails. And he makes it with a six, or a roll of a six. And Colossus is going to use, or camp, on his power, or sorry, the remainder of his two power there. Iron Man's going to be Greg's next activation. He's going to spend one to get up, leaving with six remaining power, and he's going to fly by the looks of it with yep. three yep. all the way over to the center of the board right there. Okay, Iron Man here is going to be using a overloaded Repulsor Blast on Colossus. What's his energy defense? Uh, Colossus will be improving his energy defense by two. Uh, Greg needs to roll 13 on three dice to actually hit Colossus. Oh, and he God. rolls a 9, so he does not hit Colossus right. with his blast. Nightcrawler is my last activation this round, so we're going to be using him to bamf. And we're going to bamf all the way over here. Oh. Right there. And we're going to use 2 power there. And take control of that objective. And then we're going to bamf back to an area over here with some form of protection. Right there. And that is the end of his turn. And this round. Captain America needs to make a <coughs> stamina test because he is in the red, so here's the roll. And he is fine with a seven. Initiative phase, round three. Let's see, I'm hoping for a blue, and it is a white one. So that goes to Greg. I'm gonna go first this time. Greg's first activation for this round, because he does have priority and is acting first, is the thing. Thing, after moving there, is going to be spending Thunderclap. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's how many power? Well, it's three, but we're going to overload it for So, the, again, who are you overloading it I'm going to go against, um, well, I'm going to go for uh, Cyclops. Cyclops. Overloaded against Cyclops and everybody else, uh, including Colossus, will be hit by this. But mm -hmm. I don't think if you hit Colossus, you hit Captain America. So, But I'll, we'll double check. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't hit Captain America with that. He just hits Magneto, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, and Colossus. So with this attack from uh, Thing, we're going to do Cyclops, the attack on Cyclops first, because that is the overloaded one. And then we'll see if he has to make it his agility test to take half damage from it. So here's the roll. It is overloaded, like I said. What's his uh, scissors? Uh, 15. It's a whole whopping 15. So I need 10. And you get it with and a crit. crit. So Yay. that's a 3 damage. So yes. here's the agility roll. And he succeeds. So Cyclops only takes 1 damage because you round down factions. Yeah. Fractions, not factions. Fractions. <laughs> I should have said Colossus is bodyguarding Magneto as well. Um, I did tell Greg that before we started rolling. Um, so he is bodyguarding the hit off of Magneto. So there will be two hits up against Colossus and one hit up against Nightcrawler. So we're going to do Colossus first. 
Let's see what happens. Yep. You got to roll the hit. Here's the roll the hit. And that's uh, 11 plus his attack. That that's is a 17. A fail. Here's the roll the hit against Nightcrawler. So that's 7 plus his attack is 13. There's 3 is another miss. Uh, then the one against uh, or Colossus again because I did uh, use a power to. Yeah, and that is another miss yep. up against Colossus. Next, with the last four power from the thing, he is going to grab that dumpster and throw it at Magneto there. Magneto is actually going to be not taking the hit because Colossus is going to bodyguard. And that will, if it hits, also hit Captain America on the way in. Here's the roll, overloaded. That's 11 plus three is also a miss. Captain America is in the path of this before hitting Colossus, so he does need to make an agility roll. And he is fine. Cyclops here is going to use two of his power, or seven power, to target Captain America with a optic beam. Needing 11 or higher on two dice. And that is not enough with a four. So seeing as how the first one missed, Cyclops is going to try it again up against Captain. Doing anything? Mm, how much did you got left? I got three. No, go for it. Okay. Need 11 or higher. That's a 10. Plus his attack of 7. Not enough. Captain America <laughs> is going to be targeted by another overloaded optic blast this turn. Doing anything about it? Go for it. Okay. Need 11 or higher on 3 dice. So, that is <laughs> not enough on 3 dice. The power the <laughs> And Cyclops did nothing that round and is sitting there with no power left. Thor is going to be activating next for Greg. Uh, Colossus is going to be targeted by a grab and throw by Thor. He already has improved physical defense, so he does have 22 defense. Needing 16 on 3 dice. 16, come on. That is not enough, and it misses. And so next, he's going to be doing a Ford Midgar up against Colossus. Overloaded again, needing 16. And that is still not enough. Colossus has weathered the storm, to use Greg's words. Darn it. For my next activation, I'm going to be activating Jean Grey. She's moving one, or using one power to move, right in there. Next, she's going to be using telekinesis on that object, and is going to overload it and throw it at Captain America. Going to do anything? Hmm. Captain America, or Greg, has decided to use uh, improved physical defense and switch up, so he now has a defense of 19. I need to roll 14 on three dice to hit him with size three object. That is a 10 plus three is 13 plus six is 19. Not enough to actually hit Captain America. Jean Grey with her last five power is going to be using a overloaded psychic blast on Thing. He has a mental defense of 13. Mm -hmm. Does he have any power left? No, he doesn't. All right, so here's the roll. It is a critical hit, so okay. he takes three damage. And now I got to roll to hit up against Iron Man and Captain America again. So here's my roll up against Captain America. Okay. I will boost that. I will. Okay. I rolled 11 plus her attack of six, so 18. 11 plus 17. That's My a miss. bad. That's a miss. What's your fit? Your because I'm making a 17. That's a 17. Okay, so misses up against Captain America and up against Iron Man. That's an 18. I have seven, so that is a miss as well. But thing does take three damage. Yes, Greg's going to be activating Cap next, and what are you doing with him? He's going to go over here. He's going to run away. No, no. Strategically. Strategically retreating. Ah, he's going to be ending all the way over there using all of his energy. All of his energy. My next part of the activation, I'm going to be using a blunt instrument from Magneto onto Iron Man. And it will be overloaded. Greg did improve his physical defense, so uh, here's the roll. What's your defense now? 16. 16. So that is definitely a grab. Yep. He is grabbed. So, instead of throwing Iron Man at anybody, I'm going to throw him straight across here into the side of that truck there. So he is knocked down. And he does lose his plus two physical defense and takes three damage. Next, Magneto is going to be using an overloaded meat grinder on Iron Man. And he can't do anything. So he has a physical defense of 14 because he is knocked down. And that is eight plus attack of seven. 
which is a hit out yes. of 15. Just no. barely. No. Thank no. you for overloading. Uh, he only takes two damage. One, two. And that's where we will end it. Magneto will hold the last of his power. I'm to get out. Iron Man's going to be activating next for Greg. When to get out. So Greg stands up Iron Man with one power, then moves him into base contact with Nightcrawler and Cyclops with one power as well. So uh, Greg has decided to do what with Iron Man? Grab and throw. Grab and throw. So I am going to use Bodyguard with uh, Colossus. So you will be targeting him. Yep. And he is improving his physical defense by one as well. Nice high numbers. Come on. That is good. That is 10, 16 plus 22. your attack, 22, against the physical defense of Colossus of 22. So that is a miss. So after missing the grab on Colossus, that is everything that uh, Iron Man can do this round. Nightcrawler is going to be the last activation for this round. He is going to move, I believe. Iron Man definitely going after him, so he's going to move over here. He's going to do an overloaded grab on Iron Man uh, with the last of his power. So I need to roll 15. You're 15, so I have an attack of 7. So I need 9 or higher on 3 dice. <laughs> I grab just barely. I roll 2 1s. Uh, and then he's actually going to be chucked into this far wall, straight across over this way. And is knocked prone. Again. And takes three damage. Yeah. Iron Man's now in the red, so he doesn't need to make a stamina test. Eight or less. Nope. And is knocked it. And Colossus will end his activation there. So we'll come back with Greg's last activation for round number three. Deadpool is going to use one power to move over there, then two to take that objective. Camp on the three. And then camp on the rest of the power. Nightcrawler here. He's going to be using two power to bamf. All the way over here. And he's going to use two power to take control of that object, then bamf again. All the way back over here, within two inches of Colossus. That's the end of the round. This is what it looks like. All my guys are over there. You had Deadpool hanging out over there, taking that objective. Got Captain America all the way down there, hiding out, taking that objective. I get one victory point for that objective there, and we have a couple of stamina checks to make. Actually, there's only one stamina check to make, and that is with Captain America. So here's the roll. And he makes it with a seven. All right, initiative favor, round four. Here's the draw. <laughs> and it's a white one. Greg's going to be activating thing next. He's going to be moving. He's going to go there. Oops, I just yep. dropped something. I'm going to go right there because I want everybody to get as much as, awesome. as possible. So after moving there, Greg, what is he doing? He's going to do a ground smash. A ground smash. Um, and That's I know it. this is a bit of a dick move. I'm using two power from Magneto oh, yeah. and using metal shield to cancel that attack. So you have to roll for that one? Or no, it's happen? automatic. Mean. That's yes. Mean. That is canceled. Canceled. Right. After that attack was canceled by Magneto, um, which was an expansive attack, that's why you can target anybody here that's outside of two inches of thing. Uh, he is going to sit on one power for the rest of his turn. Cyclops is going to be acti my first activation for this round. He's going to be using an optic blast up against Iron Man, who cannot do anything. I'm not going to overload it. <laughs> Maybe I should. Who knows? But uh, he is at a 12 energy defense, and I do have a 7 attack. So here's the roll. And that is 6 plus 7 is 13. That is enough to do 2 damage, and that incapacitates Iron Man. The last part of the activation for Cyclops, he's going to use a massive blast up against Thor. Hopefully that goes well. He's going to overload his energy, de or improve his physical defense by one, and, or by two, by using one power, and then you're doing what? Hammer of Storms, which Hammers. adds plus two to all ranged combat attacks for the remainder of the round. For the remainder of the round. So I need a 15 on three dice, which is doable. Not on our roll, right? Uh, not on my roll, so, but let's see what happens. It is doable. Yes. So that's a nine plus seven is 16. Plus the attack of 7 from Cyclops, so that is 23 up against Thor, yeah. and he takes 5 damage. Five damage. Oh. And that is the end of Cyclops' activation. Nice. Greg's going to be activating Thor next. He's going to use 1 to move into base contact with Colossus. And then he's going to use a whole bunch to use 4 Asgard, uh, which is a physical attack, or magical, magical attack, attack. Uh, melee range. 
And so Thor's attack is 7 yep. against Colossus' magical defense of 17. So you need 11 or higher on two dice. And that is an 8, so it misses. And Thor has two power left. Yeah, is he doing anything else? No, he's going to camp on that two power. So Thor is going to camp on those two power for this round. Cool. Jean's going to be at my next activation. She's going to be using a Psychic Illusions up against Thor, overloading it. So he will be boosting his mental defense by two. Plus, he still has his plus twos, the bonus from his last ability that he used. Hammer, uh, hammer shields or something like that. So hammer, hammer storms. storms. So he's a plus four. So he goes up to 18 mental defense. Uh, she does have an attack of six, so I need to roll 13 or higher on three dice. And not with that roll of a 10. That's consistent. Next part of Jean's activation, she's going to be using a Motivate Mind on Colossus. And then after that, she's going to use Psionic Blast on Thor. So I do need to roll really good, like 13 or higher <laughs> here on two dice, which does not happen with a nine. So that is the end of Jean's go. Deadpool is going to be using his turn to move. He's going to be moving a whole heck of a lot. And we'll see where he ends at the end. And Deadpool ends his movement right there. And I believe he's wanting to take a couple of shots at somebody. Yeah, we're going to shoot uh, Mr. Magneto. Shoot at Mr. Magneto. Uh, I will bodyguard with Colossus. He is within two inches. And uh, go from there. Here's the roll. And... Reroll it just because I can. And it's a miss. Deadpool is going to be doing that again, yep. up against Magneto. Yep. So again, Colossus is going to bodyguard. Yep. And here's the roll. And re-roll that one. And nothing. That is another miss. Magneto is going to be using an overloaded meat grinder on Thor, who has improved his physical defense and still has the hammer or shield or hammer of storms yep. or storm of hammers. No hammer of storms. Hammer of storms um, on. So he has a 21 physical defense right now. Uh, so I need to roll a whole whopping 15 or better on three dice. I don't like my chances here. No, sounds are good. No, nah, nope, does not go off. So that is that roll. Uh, with the last three power that Magneto has, I'm just going to use a couple of power. Yeah. It's one power, really, just to move him over here, away from the thing, like so. Captain's Greg's last activation for this round. And what is he doing? Can move. Yeah. He's going to switch. Okay. So that's three power out of his seven. Yep. Cool. Uh, I'm going to be using Crushing Smite, uh, overloaded from Colossus onto Thor. Um, and I believe, Greg, you're going to oh, use yeah, your shield. Shield block. Shield block, all right. So Nine he's... loss. Oh. Rerolls. Rerolls because he is acrobatic. Yeah, acrobatic. And no! he fails. All right. Oh. Here's the rule. So you got 20. No. Uh, so that is enough. enough. I rolled a crit. Uh, so t that's 17 plus his attack of right now 8 because of motivated mind. Uh, so he takes 3 damage and it's pushed. But actually, you take 2 damage from a crit. Mm -hmm. And then so 4 damage in total plus your push back d8 inches. So 2 inches back. Yep. And he is pushed back right there. Oh, and for my last activation this round, I'm going to have Nightcrawler. He's going to move over here. Banff. Take control of that. Then Banff back. I'm not going to move him because he's going to hide out there. So, And so that will be our objective. For the round, this is what it looks like. Uh, we need to make some stamina tests. You need one for Captain America and one for Thor. So this That's one is nine. for Captain. Yep, nine. He makes it just barely. Then Thor. Twelve. Yeah. Oh, just okay. makes it to you. <laughs> Turn five initiative. Let's see who gets it. And it's a blue, so it's me. So for my first activation this round, I'm going to pass. Greg? And I'm going to pass. Ah, oh, damn. I guess it's back to me. Jean's going to be my first activation for this round. She's going to move over here with two power. She's going to motivate mind on Cyclops. Should have said that first, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, and then move over there with two. And then she's going to do a uh, illusions, or what is the, the psychic illusions on Captain. Overloaded. Okay. 
So here's the roll. So that is 14 plus her attack of 6, so 20. Yep. So he takes 2 damage. Right there. And he's almost out. He also needs to make a stamina test. Fails, but soldier. Fails. Fails, so he is knocked out. And to end her activation, she's going to use telekinesis on that lamppost into Thor. Are you going to improve his physical defense? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll boost, boost them both ways. Okay. Boost them both ways, eh? Mm-hmm. And then here we go with this, and here's <laughs> the storm. The storm. And he's at defense of 21, then? Or 20? Uh, 21. 21. So I don't even know if I can hit you. Uh, yes, I can, but I need to roll double eights. Oh, so no. I hit with a 20, or I miss with a 20, but it was pretty close to double eights. Greg's right, gonna try to wake up Cap. Yeah. Plus seven, so he is up, and he is at a big minus for his career. Two, so puts on four. So after standing up, I should say waking up, and then standing up using uh, Two more of his power that he has remaining. He is running over that way and it's, hiding. It's called redeployment. No, okay, he no, says I redeployment. I say hiding. And he's kind of shivering in his booties, camping on two power. Next activation is going to be Cyclops. I'm going to do two overloaded optic blasts at Thor, uh, who has improved his energy defense. Um, so it is at 21 right now because of Hammer of Storms. Um, so yeah. I need to roll 15 or higher on three dice. That doesn't do it with a nine. But, like I said, I'm doing it a second time. So let's see what happens here. That does do it, and he takes three damage. And that also puts him in the red, so he needs to make a stamina test. 12. And he fails the stamina test and is knocked out. Cyclops is then going to camp on one power for the rest of the game, or the turn. Thor is gonna be Greg's next activation, hopefully waking him up. And he's up with a four. So after Thor waking up, he's going to stay there and do nothing for the turn. Magneto's moving all the way over here. He's then going to be using his Storm of Steel on the billboard here, overloading it up against Thor, who is improving his physical defense by two. So he is at a 19 right now. Uh, it is overloaded, so I need a whole whopping. And he does have Motivate Mind. So we get a plus one attack, so he has eight, so I need to roll 12 or higher on three dice. Come on! <laughs> Come on! That's a miss with Magneto, and he is sitting on no power. And here's Jean's agility roll to see if she gets hit by the billboard as well. Hey, I failed by one. So cool. she gets hit and is knocked prone. Greg's next activation is going to be Thing. He moves into base contact with Cyclops. So, thing's gonna strike at Cyclops, I'm assuming, overloaded. Yeah. And I'm gonna bodyguard with Colossus, using one. 17, need it. Needing something good. 17. No, 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 not quite that high. I didn't improve my physical oh. defense. So, so, 15. 15. And so that's 15 plus your attack of 6, six. is 21. So I take how much damage? 2. 2 damage. And the thing's gonna do that again, up against Colossus. So I am going to do the exact same thing. So here's a roll. And that is a critical, so he takes three damage, but is still in the gray. So Colossus is my next activation, and I moved him into base contact with Thor. He's now going to be using a overloaded Crushing Smite, who has uh, has a uh, what? Thor has 18 defense. 18 defense. So here's the roll. So that is 11 uh, plus his attack of. Seven is <laughs> an 18. Boo! That would have been really, 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 really good. And Deadpool is going to make a movement over here and switch that back over to the Avengers. Nightcrawler is going to be my last activation. He's going to move over here. And he's going to take control of that objective with two. And then he'll move back. Actually, he'll stay right there beside my needle for this round. Uh, and unfortunately, it's the end of round five. Uh, we do have to call it there quickly. Um, we'll count up the victory points and whatnot. Uh, this is what the board looks like. We have Cyclops over here up against Thing, Thor up against Cy uh, Colossus and Gene. On the other side, you got Magneto and Nightcrawler 
and Deadpool and that over there. Um, so we'll tally up the victory points, uh, and then we'll come back uh, with our after action report next. All right, guys, uh, this is our after action report. We did end the game early with one round. Um, we just, schedule-wise, that's all we could yeah. fit in. Um, you know, we thought we were going to be able to get everything in there, but uh, we're five out of six rounds, not bad. It's okay, because it's, I could <laughs> save a little bit of the beating on myself now. <laughs> I was going to say, it was pretty definite as to what was happening. Yeah. Like, I, I had all my guys, and I... I knowing that the game was ending this round, I sort of played differently than I, what I would have by spreading everybody out the way I did um, with like Magneto and Nightcrawler and okay. stuff. Um, but if it was going to go next round, you probably would have seen me uh, keeping everybody closer together and yeah. separating, like moving them up the board instead of holding them where I was right. and then spreading out from there because I could probably cover two objectives and then get somebody over to the third, like Nightcrawler or something yeah, like that. So overall, it was a 2-0 win for myself and the X-Men over the Avengers. Uh, Thor was not doing well. Uh, Iron Man was incapacitated by yeah, Cyclops. Was just and then Captain America was running away and shaking his boots somewhere. Redeploy. No, 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 no. He was, he was, he was running away. Let's just be honest. He was, he was, he was beaten like a little dog. He's a soldier. He knows how to read a book. Yes, yes. Yeah. All the respect to the man. He's old, and these guys aren't as old as him, and That's he's true. still kicking it with the yeah, the young pups. That's so, true. Um, but it was two zero uh, win for myself. Uh, who do you think was your hero of the match? Do you have one really? Ooh, um, no. In all honesty, I don't think uh, I really had a hero. No, I mean, we kept I, we kept missing by one. Like, I know so many rolls, like, <laughs> like the I lost count of it. Yeah, like some of my last rolls that I made. Like what was that last roll that I did that I missed by one? Oh, it was um, uh, overload. Yeah, the, the with the billboard. Yeah, I missed by one. So and it's just like Thor, oh no. Thor kept missing Colossus by one. Yeah, everything that he did. So uh, yeah, I think. For me, if I had to pick a hero, it would probably be Colossus because he kept everybody alive the yeah. longest. Once I moved Magneto into range of his bodyguard, uh, that's what I needed. I know Deadpool took a beating, or well, no, gave no. a beating yeah, into Deadpool. Magneto, yeah. um, and that kind of scared me. But I was eventually going to move Magneto over anyways. It was just that sort of quickened it up <laughs> a little bit. So Okay, he's got to move now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, um, but yeah, game. it was a good game. So, Greg, thank you for coming very much. No I appreciate it, man. Um, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, ignite your hobby.